In this lesson, we are going to discuss mutations. At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to differentiate point mutations from chromosomal mutations and identify some disorders that result from mutations. Genetic mutations are responsible for the huge diversity of genes found among organisms because mutations are the ultimate source of new genes. Mutations may have a negative connotation, but mutations may also bring positive effects to organisms. It may even have no effects at all. Genetic mutations are classified based on the genetic material which is being changed. The first one is what we call point mutation. Point mutations are small-scale mutations of one or a few nucleotide pairs in a gene. If a point mutation occurs in a gamete or in a cell that gives rise to gametes, it may be transmitted to offspring and to accession of future generations. If the mutation has an adverse effect on the phenotype of an organism, the mutation condition is referred to as a genetic disorder or hereditary disease. A nucleotide substitution is the replacement of one nucleotide with another nucleotide. Remember that nucleotide bases are classified as purines or pyrimidines. If a purine is replaced by another purine, and if a pyrimidine is replaced by another pyrimidine, the substitution mutation is called a transition mutation. On the other hand, if a purine or pyrimidine is replaced by an nitrogenous base of a different class, the substitution mutation is called transversion. The effects of point mutations may be seen on the polypeptide product of the translation process. Let us look at the first possible effect of a point mutation. Suppose we have this original and mutant DNA strands. The adenine of the second codon of the 3' to 5' strand underwent transition. Thus, instead of adenine, it became guanine. A mismatch error occurred in which guanine paired with thymine. This is an anomalous base pairing shift caused by tautomeric shifts. To see the effect of this mutation, we need to express the certain gene starting with transcription. We use the 3' to 5' or template strand for transcription. Thus, we get this as our original mRNA transcript, and this strand for our mutant mRNA transcript. This will be followed by translating these mRNA transcripts using the genetic code chart. The original mRNA strand will be translated to methionine, histidine, tyrosine, threonine. On the other hand, the mutant strand will be translated to methionine, histidine, tyrosine, threonine. As we compare the two strands, we cannot see any difference between the original and mutant polypeptide products even if we introduce a mutation. This means that the mutation did not have an effect when translating the gene. This is what we call a silent mutation. This mutation codes for the same amino acid. This does not affect the protein structure and function. In other words, a change in a nucleotide pair may transform one codon into another that is translated into the same amino acid. Such a change is an example of a silent mutation, which has no observable effect on the phenotype. Let us look at the next effect of point mutations. Using the same DNA strand, we are going to look at a mutation in which the thiamine of the third codon of the 3' to 5' strand undergoes transition. This means that the pyrimidine thiamine will be replaced by cytosine, which is another pyrimidine. This means that after using the 3' to 5' mutant template strand, we are going to have this mutant mRNA strand. It only differs from the original strand in the third codon. Instead of having UAU, it has UGU. Translating this product, we have methionine, histidine, cysteine, threonine. Here we have observed a change in the third amino acid product. Instead of having tyrosine, the mutant DNA produces cysteine. Substitutions that change one amino acid to another are called missense mutations. Missense mutations code for a different amino acid, which cause minimal or drastic effects on the integrity and function of the resulting polypeptide. Such a mutation may have little effect on the protein. The new amino acid may have properties similar to those of the amino acid it replaces, or it may be in a region of the protein where the exact sequence of amino acids is not essential to the protein's function. A disorder caused by a missense mutation is sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a disorder in which there aren't enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout your body because the red blood cells are shaped like sickles or a crescent moon. 
the genetic basis of a sickle cell disease can be traced from the mutation of a single nucleotide pair in the gene that encodes the beta globin polypeptide of hemoglobin. The CAG sequence is converted to the CTG sequence. The change of a single nucleotide in the DNA's template strand leads to the production of an abnormal protein, from glutamic acid to valine. Two copies of this mutant allele should be present in an individual to manifest the symptoms associated with sickle cell disease. Now, let us discuss the third effect of a point mutation. Still using the same DNA strand, we are going to look at a mutation in which the last adenine of the third codon of the 3' to 5' strand undergoes transversion, particularly being replaced by thymine. This means that after using the 3' to 5' mutant template strand, we are going to have this mutant mRNA strand. It only differs from the original strand in the third codon. Instead of having UAU, it has UAA. We know that UAA is a stop codon. This means that upon translation, the polypeptide chain will be shorter than usual. To be specific, it will only be translated up to the second codon. Thus, our product is methionine histidine chain. This point mutation changes a codon for an amino acid into a stop codon. This is called a nonsense mutation. This mutation prematurely terminates translation, which results in an abnormally short polypeptide. Nearly all nonsense mutations lead to non-functional proteins. Aside from replacing the nitrogenous bases, mutation can also occur by inserting or deleting a base pair. If we add adenine in between the first and second codons, it will result to a shift of the codons next to it going to the right. For example, originally, the second codon in the template strand is GTA. But after inserting adenine, the second codon in the template strand is AGT. This also affects transcription. Its polypeptide chain product is significantly different from the original. We have the tetrapeptide, methionine, serine, leucine, tyrosine. It leads to a disastrous effect on the resulting protein more often than substitutions do. The same effect occurs when we delete a base pair. If we delete the last base pair of the second codon, the succeeding codons will move to the left, allowing the reading frame to be switched from the original. Its transcript will be then affected. Since we deleted a base pair, we expect that its translated product is shorter. We have the tripeptide containing methionine, histidine, and isoleucine. Insertion and deletion of nucleotide base pairs lead to a frame shift mutation. The addition or deletion of nucleotides which modify the reading frame of the genetic message, which is the triplet clustering of nucleotides on the mRNA that is read during translation. This mutation will occur if the number of the nucleotides added or removed is not multiple to 3. The nucleotides that are downstream of deletion or insertion can be wrongly clustered into codons, resulting in extensive error usually ending sooner or later in nonsense and premature termination. Unless the frame shift is very close to the end of the gene, the protein is almost likely to be non-functional. An example of a genetic disorder brought by a frame shift mutation is Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is a chronic condition of the brain caused by a mutated Huntington or HTT gene. This condition induces changes in the central region of the brain that influence movement, mood, and thought skills. After discussing the mutations which can happen on the nucleotide level, let us now discuss the mutations which can happen on the chromosomal level. Errors in meiosis or damaging agents such as surgation can cause breakage of a chromosome. This can lead to several types of changes in chromosome structure. A deleted fragment from a chromosome may become attached as an extra segment to a sister chromatid, producing a duplication. For example, a chromosome with segments LOSE becomes LOOSE. Another chromosomal mutation is insertion. An insertion refers to the insertion of a larger sequence into a chromosome. This can happen due to unequal crossover during meiosis. For example, a chromosome with segments B, E, A, S, T, or chromosome beast, receives a segment R from another chromosome. This will result to a longer chromosome beast, resulting to chromosome breast. A deletion occurs when a chromosomal fragment is lost. 
the affected chromosome is then missing certain genes. If the centromere is deleted, the entire chromosome will be lost. For example, if the segment E of chromosome B is deleted, the resulting chromosome is chromosome best. An example of a genetic disorder caused by deletion of a chromosomal fragment is cri de chez. Cri de chez is a French term which literally means cry of the cat. The syndrome, also known as 5T- syndrome, is a chromosomal condition that results when a piece of chromosome 5 is missing. Infants with this condition often have a high-pitched cry that sounds like that of a cat. A chromosomal fragment may be deleted but that can be reattached to the original chromosome but in the reverse orientation, producing an inversion. For example, chromosome beast becomes chromosome beats due to the reversal of segments S and T. Translocation transfers a section from one chromosome to a non-homologous chromosome. In the most common form of mutual translocation, non-homologous chromosomes share fragments. Chromosomal aberrations may also involve the chromosome number. Changes in the number of chromosomes per cell can affect the phenotype and in some cases lead to human disorders. If one of the abnormal gametes binds to a regular one at fertilization, the zygote may also have an odd number of a single chromosome, known as aneuploidy. If a certain gamete has no copy of a chromosome, the zygote is said to be monosomic. If a certain gamete has an extra copy of a chromosome, the zygote is said to be trisomic for that chromosome. An example of an aneuploidy condition is Down syndrome. Down syndrome is typically the product of an additional chromosome 21 with a total of 47 chromosomes in each body cell. Down syndrome is also called trisomy 21 since cells are trisomic with chromosome 21. Down syndrome involves distinctive facial traits, low height, correctable cardiac abnormalities, and delays in the development. Down syndrome patients are more likely to experience leukemia and Alzheimer-like disorder, but they have a lower blood pressure risk, atherosclerosis, stroke, and a higher percentage of solid tumor types. To conclude this lesson, let us review the following key points. Genetic mutations are changes in the genetic information, which are responsible for the huge diversity of genes found among organisms. Point mutations are changes that occur in the nucleotide level. Changes may be silent, missense, or nonsense. Frameshift mutation is a point mutation in which nucleotide bases are either added or deleted. It changes the reading frame in the RNA. And lastly, chromosomal mutations may be caused by structural aberrations or alterations of the chromosomal number. And that ends our discussion on mutations.